Good morning. I just got done working out, making some bread. And Evie wants to show me her show. Okay, Evie, go for it. That will be funny part of the show. Just let it go. Okay, Noodle. She doesn't want you in her show. You liking the show? All right, introducing Elizabeth Hannah Orgill. Okay, your show's starting. Go. the baby back. <laughs> Noodles. <laughs> okay, I'm watching closely. Whoa, how'd she do that? The fire show? Yeah. Kind of like a fire show. And there's Ella. <laughs> okay guys, I was just, I've been back from my run for about 20 minutes. I lost Ella halfway through. I was um, about three and a half miles from my house and I didn't see her anymore. It was a field, dirt road. <laughs> uh, she, I don't know if she turned around or was chasing after a bird or something, but saw her nowhere. She usually wanders off and rejoins with me again, but Cookie stayed with me the whole time. And I was about ready to get in the car and go get her, but she found her way home. This is not the first time she has done this. One time she had to cross a very busy highway, made her way home. This time she did not, but I don't know where she goes, but she found her way back three miles away from home. So, pretty impressive. Well, let's just look at this cowgirl. You look amazing, by the way. Bath. Say bath. Watch his tongue. Bath. Is that hot? Say bath. Hot. Say bath. Hot. Yeah, say bath. The tongue. The <laughs> bath. It's because I've been saying bath. Bath. And he's so obsessed with his tongue. Bath. Bath. You want to see it? Okay, say bath. Bath. Bath, see what you look like, because your tongue stays out too long. Bath. Okay, bath. Bath. Say bath. Bath. Okay. All right, guys, we're doing our once a week deep clean of Evie's and Ender's room. Let me show you something. What? Oh, isn't that so cute? Evie and Ender forever. Dad, come in. Where are we going? Do something about my elbow. Wait. Wait. How do you do that? Is that magic? Wait, you want me to push it back to go back? Oh my head. Getting things cleaned up. And yeah, we still got a little bit to go. April has her kid date with Ambry tonight. Yeah. They're going to do pottery like me and Daisy did. And rumor has it, Ender wants to go next week, so. We'll just get that set up. We should have just done it as a family day. No, oh, everybody loves it. Hi guys, we're gonna open a box about Nikki Lodian. And um, this is about Valentine's. And do you think we should start opening it? Okay. Okay, B. We're going to count of three. One, two, three. What? What? Ooh, 
candy I things. I that. Okay, so let's see what's in it. So we got these little candy things. Mm. How to make your Valentine card. Are these glow card. sticks? Oh, Ooh, we have each. They're glow sticks. Oh, glow. I mean glue mm. sticks. Glue sticks. No, but, hey, um, we each get our own and it tells us how to make our own Valentine It's a Krabby card. Patty. Hey, Valentine Patty. So, we're ambassadors for Nickelodeon. We're still kind of, they sent this to us for Valentine's Day, so thanks Nickelodeon, and we'll make some Valentine's cards. Maybe we'll work on that tonight while Embry and April are at their uh, parent kid day. Oh, look who's awake. Look who's awake. What do you think, Frank? Oh, they got little Krabby Patties in there. So cute. Okay, guys, so, um... Today, um, we got to open Nickelodeon um, earlier on the vlog, and I made a card for one of my friends, and I'm gonna ride my bike there and put it on the doorstep. Ender was so cute, he said, he wrote out this Valentine for his friend, and he said, you know, will you be my Valentine, love your secret admirer? And I said, well, how's she gonna be your Valentine if she doesn't know who it is? I said, why don't you give her a hint? So he added to it, uh, my name r <laughs> rhymes with Fender, and it starts with an E. I think she's gonna guess it. I don't know, she might be able to guess who it was. So um, I wanted to make um, a card for Fiona. I'm planning for snacks in here, but I actually wanted to put like candy right there. So we got the two hearts. We decided to go with duct tape because the glue wasn't holding her good, and she bought this F in Mexico for her friend. Yeah, because I missed her birthday when I was in Mexico. Yeah, okay, let's head over and take a tour. And look who's back from their date. Look the at kid. Their look day. at what you these. Did you come to the What's that? I did it. Yeah. Tell her to do the swirl. I did that. Yeah, I know. You did that? Well, I didn't do the painting, but I did the, the oh, swirl. Look at Dave. You guys, with these two hands, I made this. It's so cool. It's there so was a fun. Bridal shower happening. It's called the Creative Kiln in Pleasant Grove, Utah, if you're in the area. Girls' nights, date night, family night birthday parties, like they teach you how, and I actually was really successful this time. I'm they teach you, if you learn, like you take a minute and learn, huh? Yeah. Cause last time we've only done it well. once, and oh, all I, I even did it with my, piano. my only goal was to reenact the scene from Ghost. That they was my only goal. Attention. Oh, will you hold your baby? He wants uh, yeah, to. Yeah, he does. Um, he just walks out. Um, Ambry, how, oh my heck, how was your date with your mama? It was amazing. Which one is yours? Okay, oh, Evie, let's cut them, let's cut them, let's cut them, hold one's on. Mine. Well, let's cut them. You, every, whoa, is that Butterfinger? Yeah. Oh, okay, you're not that. Okay. Huh? Daddy, what? look on your phone and see mine. Okay, see what you made? Daddy, All right. Cut part of that let's now. cut these up. What was your favorite part of the date with mom? Was it just spending time, or was it the actual pottery making, or what was it? Was it was just spending time. It was awesome. It's just you and mom. All right. Next time, it's me and Ambry. And then we're gonna do pottery again. It's every three months you get to go on a date with mom and dad. You wanna do pottery again? All right. You're with you're with mom next. Dad, can I go on Harry Potter? A Harry Potter date? Yeah, they have a date. Yeah. Oh, I know how to make it. How to feed them that and that. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys know, but we decided we started doing kid dates a few months ago. This is our second rotation getting through them. We do mom, dad, mom, dad, mom, dad, and we do Zay, Daisy, Amory, you know, go down the line, and then we'll switch next time. So if Zay went with me the first time, he goes with April the second time, and it's been really fun. This is our second time going through the kids, and it is so much fun getting, it's a different dynamic spending the one-on-one -on -one time with the kids. All right, guys, wrapping things up late. Um, April's getting her bread going. We just sat in the hot tub. I enjoy my hot tub sits with the kids, but I really enjoy them without the kids. And with April. Chips. <clears throat> what? Okay. Put that on your macros? No. I'm cheating. She already closed her closed her day with macros, so you can eat whatever you want after That's that. True. 
Um, Greedy. April. What? How you doing? Good. How are you? How do you not let mean comments get you down? I don't read them. <laughs> no, you read them. You see them. When I do see them, I just, <clears throat> like, honestly, I'm just like, eh, their opinion doesn't matter. Jesus knows my heart. <laughs> yeah, somebody asked me. We get asked that a lot, like, how do you handle the mean comments? And truth is, mean people do affect us. We, it does. It, it affects my mood sometimes. I'm like, sometimes it's like it blows my mind that somebody like is just so irrational in their comment to me, like, and or just unkind. And just unkind and mean. But I mean, most of the time, and most of the time, for it's, example, here's one. Someone told me that we don't have faith because if we did have faith, we'd stop giving our daughter her chemo and just pray away her disease. Oh. And I was hey. like, really? I wish it was how it worked, but I think that it doesn't work that way. You know how faith works? You have faith that everything's going to be okay. It doesn't mean you get your way every time. And it's also but you also do everything that you can do. So yeah, it's after all we can option. do. Yeah. yeah, after all you can do, and then God makes up the rest in mercy. And that's not saying that this is the only path, methotrexate, but it, we feel it's what's right for us yeah. right now. Like there are other paths, but that's what we're doing. And and you know, most of the time, ninety-five percent of mean people on Instagram are. People with no profile picture, zero posts, zero followers. Yeah, they just made the account. They've made an account like that's uh, like that's the form of entertainment or something. It's just being mean to people, and that's sad to me. Like, yeah, I also to spend don't take to spend any, your days like that. Any offense to that? Because and, I'm like, and that's oh, just like even... an immediate block. Like usually, yeah. if I get a long message from somebody with zero posts, I don't even finish reading it because I know it's gonna be mean. Like it's not. It's not going to be kind. It's like an immediate You block. can usually tell by the first two words if you are even going to need to waste your time on They don't even start off with, I don't mean to be mean, but <laughs> like, they don't even waste time with that. They just go right into digging well, into Billy it. Well, didn't teach them anything then. Yeah, they haven't been on the internet long enough. But, <laughs> but yeah. you know what? We are so grateful for you guys because I will be honest, for every one mean person, there's like a thousand amazing nice people and so i appreciate you guys there's so many good people in the world that's so true I, w I wish we had our comments on youtube right now it's so sad that we don't if we do like a live stream or something we get to hear from you directly but it's a real bummer we it's been a long time since we've had comments with you guys and a lot of you come over to instagram or um you know on the community tab but we do miss you guys we see you it was so fun the other day you know i told you this but there's I got to hear where everybody was from on the community tab, and it was all over the world. So many fun places, and um, we see you guys. We're aware of you, and yeah, like April said, it's 99% awesome people out there, and there's just sad, angry people that wanna wanna spread darkness and anger and contention, and I won't put up with it. It's an immediate block on Instagram. So love you, anyways. But you come into my house, you don't get a spit all over it. Anyways. Well, thing, it's like, I'm not even like mad or angry at them. I, I mostly just feel kind of sad. Cause... I just don't want it to be my page. Like usually oh, when... Oh so yeah, we don't have to allow it. If publicly somebody says something really mean to us, usually a lot of nice people start to attack that person. Then it's, it's just, just contention. contention. It's just contention. So we just get, we just don't want to have it, whether it's a private message or a, a comment. But... All right, guys, that's a little real talk from April and Davey. Uh, doggos, I think that Cookie was very calm today after her long run with me today. She How did far good. did she go? She ran seven miles today, seven miles yesterday. Hmm. And she loved every second of it. She could not get enough of it. You're running that far. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> you're it's really that just, <laughs> I just want to listen to more conference talks, honestly. <laughs> I suppose I could walk through it, but... Uh, just... I've been following your example. At first, I was kind of like, I miss music in the car, because he listens to it in the car, too. But then now, I'm like, I want to listen to one, and I've been listening to him when I drive places, and I just, like, I just feel so happy and uplifted after. Guys, you should try it. They're 
yeah, they're general conference talks twice a month. Leaders of our church get together and give. Their, they're just awesome talks, and there anyone of any faith could listen to it and find good in it. There's just so many good things. Um, in fact, I think most of you would find that we're not different as you think. Really, not that different. Yeah. So yeah, I just love it. For so many years, I thought the only thing I can listen to is music when I ran, and I've been missing out on all this. Just so many good things. I thought no way. I just need some upbeat music, but. I love it. I love just I so uplifting. Yet. I actually get more out of it when I'm moving. Like it's different if I'm just sitting and listening to it. When I'm moving for some for some reason, I'm more alert to what's happening. And that's cool. I don't know. That's just me. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. We appreciate you. Find good in everything and everyone. Be nice. Be like Jesus. See you tomorrow.